So with it being a new team of the season, we have a current tradition at the moment where we test out a lot of the team of the season players in one team and I'll let you know how they are. So this is a side we have concocted. Not all of them are team of the season, so you'll have to allow me on that. But we have the new goalkeeper, Samba, who I actually think looks like one of the better goalkeepers in the game. Hopefully he's going to be great. Klaus, love the wildcard that he had. This one should be fantastic. Medina, 88 pace, looks like a good centre-back. Tadebo, one of the budget centre-backs, but also looks pretty decent. Then we've got Nuno Mendes, who looks like one of the best left-backs in the game. And I think he's going to be, especially with the links he offers. Fofana, a budget. He's actually very, very cheap on the market. As you can see, about 80 to 90,000 coins. I'm not sure why he's so cheap. I think he looks like fantastic value. 98 physical, going to boss the midfield. We splashed the cash on Verratti. Want to test that dribbling out. Think he's going to be absolutely fantastic. He's about 330,000 coins. We've got Dimitri Payet, who was the level 10, I want to say, uh, reward from the season's objective. So if you've done that, yep, yeah, fair enough. Uh, Cabela was in the team of the season. Um, he looks decent. He's very, very cheap on the market. Then you've got Alexis Sanchez, a uh, fancy foot. Not a team of the season, but he does have a, a team of the season, which is 95. It's not in the Ligue 1 team of the season. It was a community, but yeah. And then we've got Mbappe. Uh, we, of, of course, cannot afford the team of the season one. That one looks immense. But we do have the player of the month, so that will have to do. On the bench, we've got Turam, David and Sissoko, who are team of the season slash moments. Uh, Turam is, of course, a community, but still... Uh, David and Sissoko should be pretty. Actually, you know what? Let's make a quick change. Let's start David instead of Sanchez so we get another team of the season player in there. So we can test out David as well. Uh, we've got the full league inside as that is what we're going to be rocking for the new objectives that's come out. We need to get 13 wins, I believe it is, with a full league and team. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to test out these players and I'll let you know how good they are. So game number one, we are against this team. Hopefully he doesn't skip. I've accidentally skipped and he skipped. Right, anyway. So anyway, game number one, he's got Mbappe. I can see that already. Should be a tough game. Let's go. Right to Verratti, out wide. Nuno Mendes, use that pace. Absolutely Dos Van Dijk. Now we're going to look for the cutback. Actually, no, we're just going to hit it. Oh, and he finishes it tidily as well. Top corner. That's excellent from Nuno Mendes. Out wide. Nuno Mendes again. Can he get a back-to-back -back goals? No, he can't. Oh, we don't get there as well. Right, I'll tell you what. Mendes is unbelievable. Wow, Mendes is destroying right now. Very, very impressive from Nuno Mendes. Right, Mendes again. Can he play a pass? Decent into David. Mbappe. Try to get David a goal. Can he finish? Oh, it's lagging a bit. Oh, Nate Todibo, budget beast. And can we start a counter from it as well? Cabela. It's this man again here. Look, Nuno against Van Dyke, Leaves him for dust. Oh, Kipembe does well though. Brassi in the air, lovely. Now we can counter. Let's go to Cabela, who's got space in front of him. Against Frimpong. It's a good touch. Good speed there. Oh, really good speed. Can he finish with a little dink? He can. That's superb from Cabela. And this guy has had enough. Mbappe inside to Jonathan David. Oh, lovely. Through the middle of him. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Very, very tidy from Jonathan David. Here we go. David to Cabela. Can he finish on a budget? Yes, he can. 2-0. Quick fire win. Let's get into the third game. That'll probably be the final one. So we're on to the third and probably the final game. Unless it's a quick rage, but I might do another one. Navas, Lucio, Alberto, Nuno Menj, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva. It's a very, very solid team. I think we're going to take him though. Bukayo Sacks. Medina. Oh, good tackle from Todibo. Budget beast again. Everyone get uh, Todibo. Right, Verratti. Let's test out the dribbling. We've not actually tested him out that much, really. Go in there. Go on then. Back out wide. Tell you what, I am loving Nuno Mendes. He seems fantastic. Send him there. Dimitri Payet finish. Bosch. 1-0. Quick fire. Easy. Cabela. Right, let's get Cabela involved as well. See if he's any good. He's very, very cheap as well. So if he is good, sign him up. Let's test that dribbling. Yeah, that's nice actually. Beats him as well. Go back. And again, to the skip. Oh, that's a good save. And Dave is going to finish that 2-0. Very, very easy. Right, he's going to quit. So we're going to go into a fourth game. Throw on to the fourth. And this will definitely be the last one. So, yeah. Let's see what he's got. Five at the back. That's a shock. And then he's got five at the back with two defensive midfielders. Ronaldinho, Kane and Saka. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. He is phenomenal on the ball, Vati, though. I, I always knew that with his Centurions as well, which is very, very good. Cabela, out wide to Nuno Mench. 
Back inside. Back out then. Oh my, it's lovely play. Oh, that is absolutely superb play. It is a dirty cutback, but the build-up play was phenomenal. Go on then. Lovely. Into Cabela. Oh no, that'll do that. Into Cabela now. I want to test him out. Lovely. Tell you what. Cheap beast Cabela. I think he's actually pretty damn decent. Could be a great super sub. Right, David. Does him. Mate, oh, he's been absolutely destroyed with his little body shimmies. Lovely from Jonathan David. I, I'm actually really, really liking Verratti. His acceleration is fantastic. On the defensive end, his jockeying is superb. His dribbling is obviously immaculate. He seems very, very good. Right, wait for the overlapping run. That'll do. I didn't actually pass that, but... Mate, Nuno Mendes is unbelievably quick. He really is. I mean, that is just a well-worked, patient goal, isn't it? Nuno Mendes is superb, guys. He really, really is. David seems like a clinical finisher. I'm really, really enjoying these league and team of the seasons. Right. Nuno Mendes versus Mbappe. Leaving him in the dust. Trippier, where are you going, buddy? Laurent Blanc, you ain't got a chance. Mate, Nuno Mendes is just disgusting. He is absolutely disgusting. I cannot praise that man enough. Unbelievable. And if you play a formation like mine, the 4-3-2-1, where the left back is the one getting forward a lot on the overlap, Nuno Mendes is perfect. Nice pass and a move in. Into Mbappe. David. Cabela. Can he finish? He can. You know what? For about 30,000 coins, Cabela, he's doing the business. Nice, Todd Ebo. Good, good tackle there. Mbappe. Go back to him. No, that's fine. Cabela, step over or uh, Ronaldo chop. And he's put it wide. <laughs> he's put it wide. He's got to score that. Cabela. Oh, nice touch. Really nice touch. Sets him in behind. Beat that defender. Finish it. Good save. Probably could have went on the left foot, but thought I'd come inside. Pause. Oh, done it with the Cruyff. Oh, through the legs. Cabela. Oh, my word. It is absolutely disgusting from Cabela. So what I want to do is I want to have a look quickly at this goal again from Remy Cabela. Let's have a look. Hill to hill. Cruyffed him. Blankfoot was getting there. No chance. Through the legs. That is just dirty, isn't it? Let's have a look. Laurent Blanc. Yeah, mate. He thought he was covering it. Uh, nobody. Right? That's through your legs. We'll see you later. Back in the net. Good finish. And that was, I think, four goals, I think, in that game for Cabela. Or a hat-trick. He was unreal. So there you guys have it. We've played about four games, I think, that was of champs with this team of the season team. Of course, minus a few players. But overall thoughts and feelings right now. Starting off with the goalkeeper. He was actually pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. He did make a quite a few saves. You know, when I used to Stegen last week, um, he was horrendous. But Samba was actually making saves. So he gets a thumbs up from me. Klaus was a little bit uh, invisible. I mean, he's a right back, I suppose. And I don't really use the right-hand side uh, for bombing up fullbacks. He did get dusted by Ronaldinho a few times, so take that into account. But he is about 100,000 coins. He probably will continue to drop, like a lot of these cards. So I'm going to need to sell them very soon. But Medina was a very good centre-back as well. Him and Todibo, they actually paid up very nicely. I didn't even put a shadow on either of them. And they were still great. They managed to lock down a lot of the players. Six foot, I suppose you could say it's a little small. And the ATA jumping doesn't help that. But I don't feel like crosses are that OP. At least a lot of people don't do it against me. Todibo was very, very good. The acceleration, I didn't really notice it being that slow. He does take a little bit of time to take get into gear. But at his price, I think he's like 30,000 coins, if that. He's very good, and I do, I do like him a lot. Nuno Mendes, by far and away the standout of this team. Uh, I'm sure I would have put a lot of his highlights in there. Unbelievable. Really, really like this card. And he is someone that he will definitely... I will definitely be buying for my team 100% because he links with like Ramos and Mbappe as well. But he's about, he was about 330,000 coins when I bought him. He is now 350-ish. I mean, it's going to come down, so it doesn't matter what it is. It'll be cheaper when this video comes out, probably on the Sunday. Um, but yeah, unbelievable pace. He was dusting defenders for fun. It truly is a 99 pace. You know, he was against Frimpong, dusted him. Van Dijk dusted him. Trippier dusted him. Yeah, really, really good. On the attacking front, 58 finishing. He banged it top bins once. Uh, 99 shot power probably does help with that. The passing was great. The agility, like the dribble and stuff like that, super noticeable. Was very, very good. Defensively, not suspect at all as well. So I really do recommend Nuno Mendes. Best player on this team. 
And then Verratti was very, very good as well. Dribbling was unbelievable. He's always known for that though, isn't he? 71 strength. I didn't think it was that low, to be honest. Uh, it felt stronger, even though he was 5 of 5. He could definitely get his body around. So I rate him for that. Um, and the acceleration was very noticeable as well. So he was a good defensive player. And he can also offer something going forward as well. The passing, immaculate. For Fana, um, I wouldn't say he's the one you want as a lone DM. So for me, he was the defensive centre midfielder in my 4-3-2-1. But he did like to push forward a bit as well because of obviously the high, high work rate. So, you know, take that into account if you do want to have him as a lone DM. I probably wouldn't do it. But defensively, he was very good. Very, very strong as well. Stamina 99. He can go all game. But uh, uh, yeah, passing seemed a little bit meh. Uh, I don't know if that was an issue. The ball control as well, 93 it says. Maybe a little bit of a trampoline foot. But he's not as OP as he was in previous FIFAs. But he is still a very, very good card, in my opinion. No point doing Paye. Remy Cabea, the surprise of the team. Wow, what a card. At 31,000 coins, four games, six goals, four star, four star. I really, really rate him. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Very, very good card. His dribbling is very nimble. He's great on the ball. Um, his finishing, you would have seen it. He scored, I mean, he scored six goals in four games. Says it all. He did have that one chance uh, on the weak foot, which he missed, which he should have scored 100%. But... Overall, very, very good card. I am impressed by this one. If you get him on tradable, give him a try. You know, even put him on the bench. He'll be a great super sub. He's very, very quick. 96 stamina is great as well. What traits does he have? He doesn't have many traits, which is fair enough. But yeah, I thought he was very, very good. And at 30k, I think he is a bit of a bargain. Jonathan David, the final player. Very, very good card again. Five goals, four assists. He seemed clinical. Uh, five star weak foot as well and he'll also be great in the air as you can see 99 jumping and 99 heading accuracy that's not something i tested out i should have maybe tried that out you know whipping balls into him but yeah i really really liked uh, jonathan david he wasn't the best on the ball i will say that for me anyway i didn't notice that but the strength of 97 as well was noticeable um, the defenders weren't really bullying him so uh yeah jonathan david was fantastic really really good card uh, and i'm sure he'll play even better with a chemistry style on him but uh, yeah, that is the full, well, not the full league and team of the season, but that is my overview anyway. I think this one is much better than the La Liga one, if I'm going to be honest. The La Liga one I tried compared to this is not as good. I do think this one is better. I think a lot of these players are very, very good. And yeah, I would highly recommend getting some of these, especially Nuno Mendes. But nonetheless, thank you all for watching. If you want to continue to see gameplay videos on the channel, please do consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button. It does mean the world to me as we are on the road to 700 subscribers. But nonetheless, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Cheers, guys.